This is a quick video configuring Cisco UCCX Finesse and Cisco CUCM for Cisco Finesse Mobile Agent by Comsys. If you'd like to learn more about Comsys Mobile Agent, use cases, customer success stories, you can check the video in the description or visit comsys.com forward slash agent. Comsys Mobile Agent app is available for download in iPhone and Android app stores. You can download and run it in demo mode without any server integration. Before we start, just want to let you know that none of these configuration steps here require server or service restart. You can easily follow these steps in production and there shouldn't be any issues. Another point is, you do not need Cisco Jabber or Cisco Expressway for this setup to work. And there is no cloud-based application used in solution. All these server elements are hosted in your network. In order to access a mobile agent from a public internet, you can either use um, uh, port address translation and uh, open two ports, one for HTTPS, one for SecureX MPP, or you can use mobile VPN. Cisco Finesse in UCCX allows agents to use third-party non-Cisco phones to answer incoming calls from the queue via call manager extend and connect feature. We also use that feature so that uh, Cisco UCCX agents can log in as agents or supervisors via Comsys Mobile Agent app for Cisco Finesse. Comsys Mobile Agent is a mobile app and the Comsys Mobility Server with it, which runs on your network. This helps agents to log in without desktop PC required or switch easily between desktop and the mobile. We will go through the steps to configure your environment to be able to use Comsys Mobile Agent. If you would like to have a trial license, you can send an email to info at comsys.com. So Comsys Mobile Agent, as we mentioned, it's uh, uh, agent and supervisor application without desktop PC required. You can eliminate uh, any PC or the browser based uh, mobile uh, applications. Uh, and you can lock your phone and stay in the same state, ready state. Uh, as long as you you, you want, uh, you can access the customer CRM uh, data. We can monitor the uh, geolocation. Let's have a look at the requirements for uh, using uh, mobile agent functionality on Cisco UCCX Finesse. First of all, uh, you need Cisco UCCX version 10 uh, or higher uh, for the Finesse functionality, and the Call Manager 9 or higher for the CUCM Extend and Connect feature and according to the um, Cisco documentation extend and connect feature also requires Cisco mm -hmm. IMN presence server having said that uh, we had a few customers who managed to um, get this uh, feature working without um, IMN presence server so you might not need one in the end um, despite the Cisco documentation. So uh, we are using Call Manager Extend and Connect feature uh, to simulate the um, agent uh, Cisco extension. And if you want to learn more about Cisco Extend and Connect, uh, the details can be found on the uh, Call Manager um, features and the services guide of your version. And then you can see what features and functionality you've got there. Um, we, before we do anything else, we need to um, uh, make some changes on the Finesse uh, UCCX uh, system settings. Uh, this feature, uh, ability to use a, a third party line uh, feature comes with uh, a persistent connection feature enabled. Persistent connection means when you're using a third party phone in order to minimize the call setup times, as soon as you log in as an agent, um, call manager uh, makes uh, uh, an active connection to your uh, third party phone um, so that uh, when a customer call comes in, um, the transferring the call to your phone line, third party phone line will be uh, very straightforward customer doesn't need to wait but obviously it's not a good practice for the mobile because the mobile line you don't want to keep your line all active all the time so you need to disable that and then you select disable and update this doesn't require any uh, server restart or anything else the next step you need to do is to uh, add um, 
Cisco IAML Presence Server uh, as a new server on the call manager. So you come here and add new IAML Presence, click next and type the IP address here. You don't necessarily need the FQDN. And then click save. And then let me show you what I've got. This is my IAML Presence Server. And then uh, I only have the IP address. And the uh, next step is to look at the uh, presence redundancy uh, groups. There is this uh, default subcluster that uh, you need to come and select your presence server from the drop down and save. And um, so we did that, we did that. Obviously, in the meantime, you need to make sure that your IMM presence server is installed and the services are started from the uh, serviceability section. And then you need to add UC services uh, for CTI and um, presence. So when you go to user management, user settings, UC service, you should uh, add a new service and select CTI and CTI and then new service uh, presence, IMN presence. So when you uh, the new service, these are the options. So you select CTI on the first one, IMN presence on the second one. And then uh, when you do that, you put the IP address of the uh, IMN presence server as well. Um, so this is what it looks like on our setup. And then we need to create uh, an end user for the agents. If you already have agents uh, configured, you don't need you, you can skip this step but uh, in case you want to create a new uh, end user which will now then uh, uh, be configured uh, as an agent um, you will um, uh, use this section and you will add user id you will enable uh, this option and uh, you don't need to select this one and then uh, you need to select the service profile that you see service profile we just uh, created on the previous step. And uh, you also need to add um, call manager and user and uh, standard CTI uh, permissions. So when you go here, uh, I think they come after uh, you save. Um, For example, this is one of my agents, which I can use as a mobile agent as well. We need to add standard CUCM end user and standard CTI enabled options, uh, permissions. And um, also enable mobility is recommended. Uh, and um, on the user management, Assigns, assign presence and users and you need to assign this uh, I think this is done on the CUPS uh, the IMM presence server so you know you first uh, create a presence gateway on the presence server uh, point out your call manager and um, uh, user management assign presence and users click agent user ID on selected users. Uh, you need to also make sure that the call manager trunks and the route patterns are set up with the correct um, uh, CSS um, calling source space information so that it can dial, call manager can, those trunks can dial your um, cell phone number. And uh, we need to add CTI remote device. So uh, we are trying to simulate um, call man, uh, Cisco phone or a soft phone because in a mobile uh, environment we don't want to use uh, a Cisco soft phone on the mobile or we don't want to use a Cisco hard phone. Um, you create a CTI remote device and uh, follow the settings you select your user, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you select your device pool um, and then that's pretty much it and when you save uh, it will be saved and you will um, see it um, you will see it 
uh, like this. Uh, important information here is that uh, you have to make sure that you are following this format. So the username uh, or the device name, in fact, of the CTI remote device must start with CTIRD. If you look at the features and the services guide, you will see that um, on the create CTI remote device, user ID must start with CTIRD. And then um, you will have um, uh, the rest of the configuration here. You also need to select this uh, checkbox so that uh, you can route the calls to a third party without any um, need for logging into Cisco Jabber. Uh, that client uh, is Cisco Jabber here, so you don't want to um, need to uh, log into Cisco Jabber. We don't want to deal with Cisco Jabber at all. So you can create uh, a new destination. This is my destination details, uh, the name of the destination, and then uh, my cell phone number in the format that call manager should be able to dial, enable, extend, and connect. And these are the timers that I would recommend you guys to use. So one, one and a half, and then 19. Uh, and then all the time and always ring this destination. And then uh, you save. Um, we also need to uh, update the information about the extension. You give an internal uh, extension. Um, and uh, it is also recommended uh, that uh, we should have no answer ring duration at least 25 seconds or longer. And uh, finally, you need to uh, update the uh, maximum number of calls and the BZ trigger according to these values 2 and 1. That's the Cisco UCCX and UCCE recommendation. Nothing to do with the mobile agent. And once you're done, uh, I think you should also add uh, associate the user that we added uh, to this device, to this line, and uh, click Save. Uh, and after that, we go back to our user and uh, we assign this device to this user. And um, that uh, should give us pretty much what we need. So let's have a look. We created this, we created, uh, selected the root all calls without client connected, easy trigger answering duration. Another thing that you need to keep in mind is it is highly recommended to set the, um, in the UCCX scripts, select resource step, uh, set the connect yes and the ring time as 20 seconds. I think by default it's 12 seconds. So it's better to do it 20 seconds because uh, we will be using cell phone network and uh, call establishment might take a while. Uh, another one that uh, I would recommend is to create an application user to be able to access uh, the corporate directory, Cisco call manager corporate directory contacts, as well as the Microsoft AD contacts if your AD is integrated uh, uh, CUCM. And then you create the user username password, which you will provide to Comstis uh, so that we can create your license. And uh, you need standard API, AXL API access permissions. Okay, I think that's pretty much uh, it. So we uh, AXL API address uh, and the corporate directory and active directory. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much what you need to do. And uh, as I mentioned, Cisco. Uh, UCCX uh, in this scenario, Comstis mobile agent scenario, we also require a, a server element. Uh, a server is a virtual machine that will run on your network and um, manage the communication between the finesse and your uh, mobile app. Uh, and uh, as I said, if you can send an email to support at comstis.com, we can send you the details uh, of that virtual machine for the trial purposes.